off with our layout basically in good space where we have the positioning of our flex items within the card container setup. All right. So our card dash media is on the left with only 30% of the width and our card body is on the right, taking up 70% of the width. The parent container flex container has some border and some padding, but now it's time to just do the nitty gritty typography work as well as uh, solve this problem with these images and how we want them to be a consistent aspect ratio throughout. So we have a bunch of typography work to do and let's get started as well as some object uh, positioning of the image. So first let's focus on the uh, image, the media, which has just a couple things to uh, finish off. So we're gonna work with a method where we're gonna have our dot card image, right? Is going to be uh, positioned absolutely. All right, which means we want our card media to be position, have a position relative. All right, and the reason we're gonna position the card image absolutely is so that we can use the object fit uh, property to make it see, uh, effectively turn it into like a background image, all right? So if I say object, whoops, object fit, and we're gonna set it to cover, so it's gonna take up all the space, and we're gonna tell it to have a width of 100% and a height of 100%, all right? And the size of the image is gonna be based on the actual width of the box being 30%. So that's where the size is truly coming from. So in a sense, what we're gonna do is have by default, the height be zero and then use this uh, trick of using a padding bottom so that there's no height, but we're gonna have a constant padding uh, bottom so that at all times, it's gonna be 22% uh, by 100%, all right? So this alone is going to make all of the images always the same size. So notice it's fit there and it's always be previously. So if we go back and if we, we have it set here, you can see the images are taking up the entire space, all right? So we, we don't want this to take up the whole space, but that would work too. You can see it's always the same height and width. So instead, we're gonna have its height be zero and its padding bottom be 22%. So this is a nice trick to always have things to, if you wanted them to be more square, you can add additional padding. Actually, let's leave that and we can do it in the inspector. So if we go to this, the image right here, sorry, the card media, and we change the padding bottom and we make it bigger, you can see we're making, we're changing the aspect ratio of it. And you can see, you should edit your image corresponding. So maybe we like it uh, at a certain other aspect ratio, but we left it 22. That was the model I, I had here, all right? So we basically have our card media and card image solved, and the rest is a whole bunch of typography work. And I'm just gonna kind of work through these pretty quickly uh, to get them all in a reasonable amount of time. Um, I like to sometimes do this uh, where we're going to have the card body actually also display flex. We don't have to do this, but what's going on? Oh, I forgot a semicolon after here, semicolon. Um, but it does allow us to control where we position things in the uh, bottom, and we're going to in the container itself. And so then we're gonna have set some padding, all right, uh, not to top. Uh, so we want zero top and bottom, but we want a little bit to uh, the left and right, all right? And so you can see that's what's giving us, whoops, we have to say display flex, flex direction column, all right? And so we've just given ourselves our little bit of space here and there's a little bit of space here. You can see it if we inspect that element, right? And we look at that body, you can see there's a little bit of spacing on either side, okay? 
All right, so let's start doing some of these. So the category, this is where the one that's tech or travel, we need to make this uppercase. We need to change its color to this green, which I found from the site, 429E62. All right, we need to make this much smaller. All right, we're going to make it only one REM or which calculates to 10 pixels and change the line height to much smaller as well. Sorry, just one. And sorry, I'm trying to keep track here. Here we go. And then we're going to give a little bit of padding. And there's basically going to be a padding at the bottom of each element. And that's going to be, depending on which it is, this one's 0 0.3 REM or three pixels. All right. And you can see our travel and tech are starting to look and match music and movies. All right. So we're on our way. Next, let's work on that card title. and work through a bunch of things here. We're gonna make the color a little darker, that 3B, 3B, 3B. We're gonna make the um, font size a little smaller than the default for an H2 by making it 2 REM. We're gonna make the font weight, though, a little bigger than the default, which is 800. So that's one of our other, so it's more bold. It's that extra bold. We're also going to transform the text to capitalize. All right. So every, every word has a cap that starts with a capital lever, letter. We're going to change the line height. So it's a, a little less than the default. And we're going to change the letter spacing actually. So it's slightly tighter. This is a very minor amount. And again, we're going to have some padding at the bottom of 0.3 REM. And whoops, I think we need our line height to be REM. There we go. OK, so on our way, we're getting there. OK, let's make this also REM. There we go. All right. so. Pretty close. We're, we're getting there. And this image is, is not exactly the same, so it's fine. We're, we're going there. So now let's move on. Let's get to the card slug, which is the description of text to preview an article and move through it. We're going to change the font size to something smaller, 1.3 REM. Um, then we're going to change the line height to um, 2.1. REM, and then we're going to change the padding. This one has a little bit extra padding, and that is 0.9 REM. We can have a look, and you can see getting closer and closer and closer. So the last thing we have to do is deal with this uh, byline, all right? And that byline is going to take a little extra work. One of the things we need to do, actually, is we're going to wrap the author, all right, in an anchor element so that it would be a link because it would be a link, all right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to put it around. So this is supposed to have a little by, and then we wrap this with an anchor link, all right? And so we're going to do that with this Emmet wrap with abbreviation. It's going to be an anchor link. <laughs> And it's going to be author dash link. All right. So this isn't unique to a card. You can imagine all of these. And then we're going to change this. It goes nowhere. Okay. And we'll do the same thing to the other card real quick. By an anchor link with author dash link, all right? 
whoops. Let's do wrap. What are we doing wrong here? Select this wrap. There it is. And we'll say wrap with an A dot author dash link. There we go. And again, goes nowhere. So let's keep moving through our remaining bits of CSS. We're almost there. All right. So the first thing is, if we think about it, we need actually to make this byline element, all right, this byline. Let's close all these other things so you're not worried about it. So we have this byline, and inside that byline, there are two H4s, and we need these to be side by side. So how do we do that? We're going to make the byline a flex container, and the each H4 to show up uh, in a row, all right? So we can say dot card dash by line. And we're going to say display flex. All right. And we can say if we wanted to flex, we can be explicit, even though the default direction is, is row. And we can already see they're now in a row. All right. So we're on our way to getting this solved. We're almost there. It's looking really, really close, is it not? All right, so let's change our default, uh, default font sizes as well within the byline. We'll say, let's make the font size um, 1.3 REM. Let's change the line height to 1.2 REM. And let's change the, oh, we want to have Also some padding here on this element, padding bottom 0.6 REM, all right? Save, and you can see it's getting smaller, a little extra padding, all right? And we're gonna finish off with our author. And that's and the link, and that's it. Last two. So we'll go to the card author. All right. And we're going to make some padding to the right of one rim. And then we're going to add a border to the right. That's how we get our little line there. And we're going to make that one pixel solid with our. 6e, 6e, 6e. And then we're going to make a little margin on the other side of it. All right. On the other side of that little border. That also is our one rem. All right. And you can see that's what made our little line between our two elements. And the last thing we have to do is just change our link color. And this is as close as it's going to get for now. If you, if we, uh, you know, change the width, it's basically the image width is not exactly the same, but it's pretty darn close. And we can, we could futz with it. Actually, let's do that for fun. Let's change the here. Actually, let's do it in here. So if we go to the container and make it slightly bigger, yeah, there we go. And they're they're pretty darn close. There we go. That looks really, really similar if we base it on 66 RM. So this is obviously not exactly the same. And you can see our, our slug lines are a little longer. All right. But that's pretty darn close. So but let's finish it off with our link. And then we're done. So we have our dot author dash link. But we need to cover all the bases and do dot author link, and it's whether well, if it's on focus, the author link on hover, and the author link on visited. All right, and we just need to make the text decoration none and change the color to that great green.
let's decline that spam phone call in the middle of our tutorial. <laughs> and that green was that 429, there it is. Save, and I think we are done. That's right. So that was the second half where we've kind of finished off our our um, tutorial doing the typography. You can see it's not exactly the same. It depends on the image size. So, you know, whatever you make it make more effort to change it, it's up to you. But we're we're pretty darn close. All right. And I hope you enjoyed it. And that's it.